Time now for our skincare survival guide with skincare guru, guru Vanita Rattan. She has tips we can all use, but she specializes in skin of color, which often needs a different kind of TLC than Caucasian skin. And Vanita has a new book that is beautiful called Skin Revolution, The Ultimate Guide to Beautiful and Healthy Skin of Color. And she's here live. Vanita, it is so great to have you here on GMA. And the book, it really is beautiful <laughs> just looking at it. I do think HarperCollins really did uh, back this book and back Skin of Color, so I'm really grateful to them for that. Yeah. And, and you say that this book is your quote, love letter to skin of color family around the world. What yeah. inspired you to write it? So when I became a doctor, one of the questions that kept coming up over and over from family and friends was, I get hyperpigmentation, what do I do? But the vast majority of treatments available for hyperpigmentation could burn skin of color and lead to more hyperpigmentation. So it didn't make any sense and no one had really investigated it. So I was lucky I had access to a laboratory and so we started putting formulations together and conducting clinical trials specifically for skin of color. Um, and from that, I took that information and I put it into Skin Revolution in order to democratize skincare. And it's also what pursued me, that, which um, it also helped me with creating our skincare line for skin of color with that information. So we talk about representation, how, how it matters in so many different facets, but skincare is one of them. Talk to us about the difference between skin of color and how it may need different TLC than other skin. Absolutely. So first of all, we should start with the melanocyte, the cell that produces the pigment melanin. That cell is easily triggered. I always say one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. That means we can't afford to irritate our skin. This means that we need anti-inflammatories in our skincare, but we also need tyrosinase inhibitors. Those are ingredients that calm down the melanocyte, help to bring it back to normal. In addition, we have less ceramides in our skin than Caucasians. This means that our skin becomes drier and duller quicker. So we need ceramides in our skincare. And this is why actually the way we treat skin of color is very different to the way we would treat Caucasian skin. So what are your top three tips and kind of what warnings do you have for people that are getting some ideas off of social media? Because your course. skin is beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, number one, I would say is sunscreen, of course. I think a lot of us were told at a young age that we have melanin, we don't need sunscreen. But melanin gives us an SPF of seven. Seven is so low, you can't even buy a sunscreen with an SPF of seven. So it's not going to cover us. We need SPF 50 from six months old onwards. The second thing I would say is don't fall for expensive creams and expensive marketing. Often it's loaded with fragrance, which can lead to contact dermatitis in three to 4% of the population. And for skin of color, that means hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. It's better to look for skincare that has percentage actives that actually work. Um, and they tend to be actually cheaper than the more expensive creams, so that's good news. And the third thing I would say is don't fall for skin talk trends. I think a lot of us see these magic transformations and we think we buy that product and this will work and it's often that they've had help to get to that point. Uh, so just don't believe everything you see on social media, take it with a pinch of salt. We're always talking about the TikTok <laughs> <Yes>. trends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we do a lot of reactions. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm on TikTok and I do a lot of reactions for this reason as yeah. to bust some myths. <laughs> and there are myths there. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much for being with us this morning. My pleasure. And Skincare Revolution, the ultimate guide to beautiful and healthy skin of color is out tomorrow.